Hi, everybody, and welcome to one of the great shops of uh, Diamond Regional High School. Yes, sir. Uh, I got a hit at all? Yep. <laughs> Louis Rebello is the freshman instructor yes, who, uh, who is here with the uh, auto collision course here at Diamond. Um, we said to, we were talking really about how many people, how many students, rather, and about 70, 60, 65, yep. 40, 55. I asked about co ed, and you told me uh, roughly a, a, dozen, a dozen female students. Yep. And they participate in everything. Every that, aspect. This, this job, this, uh, you, you're creating jobs, every, opportunities for jobs for every, every child, boy or girl, who comes into these shops yes, sir. around here. Yes, sir. Yesterday I was talking to you a little, a little while ago, talking about talking to the Navy uh, Tin Can Sailors, which is an association nationally. Yep. And they provided for me uh, an application, which I should have, I have it somewhere, but it's in the car, I can leave it to them later on, for a job, for jobs at uh, Groton, Groton, Connecticut, mm -hmm. and where else, wherever they need weld. They need welders desperately. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure all component parts of whatever else they need sure. to be trained. So, so when, when I, we bring, I bring up the, uh, the issues of the uh, missiles and, and the thing, I bring up the fact that we are building more munitions. We are now building more, we're building more. We need welders. We need other people we who need have it been, all. Been, been trained right here. Absolutely. At this school, there isn't very, very few classes in this school train somebody, not That's for right. a war effort, a peaceful effort, mm -hmm. but in building, uh, uh, building our country. Yep, that's absolutely true. Yeah, and um, you have, uh, you did you go to Diamond? I did, I graduated from this program in 1997. I bet there was the one teacher in here that hasn't gone to Diamond to be back <laughs> to Diamond. That's true. Yeah, and you've been here for how long now? This is my second year. Okay, all right. Yep. And how long have you been out of school? I don't want to age you, Lewis, I don't want to age you. <laughs> uh, 20 years. 20 years. Yeah, 21 years this year, 21 So years. you went out and? I've been in the industry since before I graduated. Okay. Um, you were co-op. I was on co-op, yep, junior and senior, uh, senior year. Yeah. And I have touched on pretty much every aspect of the industry from hands-on to administrative to insurance, um, yeah. painting, body work, you know, every aspect pretty much I've, I've worked in one, year, one point or another. Do some do students who have gone through the courses here come back and visit you? Yes. Yeah, we've, we're, I've only been here for one graduating class. Um, and I've already had students that I taught uh, last year uh, come back and visit us already this year and keep in touch and let us know how they're doing and their, you know, how their hobbies are and stuff because some of the students were into cars. Yeah. Uh, so I've had them come by and show me their cars that they've picked up and you know, it's, been, it's been fun. In the academic part of the students' uh, life, they're, they're probably one of the highest marks. They do very they, well. They do very well on they the outside very, very well. even though it, everybody thinks it's, a, it's just a shop. No, yeah, I think our I think our academics here are just as strong, if not stronger, than a comprehensive school. I think why is that? Because they probably have more hands-on stuff. You know, in, in, in Diamond probably tends away two hundred kids a year. I would say, which is you know, which is a, cr is a crime, truthfully. Oh yeah, we're fifty fifty year old school. Yep. And here they are struggling, needing space. Yep. Need a new school. Yep. It seemed like everybody needed a new school in one year, right? Yeah, it's true. But. Uh, this is all part of hopefully getting that, you're, you're part of that, Louis. Yeah, Getting that, the, the, the endorsement of the people who have to help to pay for it. The, uh, I always wondered with, with such, you have cramped conditions. You're, you're always looking for the industry of which you can service, yep. or which your students will end up servicing, Certainly. looking for. And space is one of the big things you it's, need here. It's massive, and we're not working on, you know, projects this big we're working with cars yep you know 15 feet long 12 feet long 20 feet long um, we're doing some work for the community uh, work for the school here as well we, you know we've painted railings and mm -hmm. uh, miscellaneous fences and other pieces for the community that aren't necessarily cars but they're large items yeah you know so nothing that we're working on is small no, no, no. you know and, it, and when we do work with one panel we've got 10 students working with one panel yeah. So we've got 10 students, each with a panel that takes up space. They're like ants all over. Yeah, the they're on top of each other. You know, and um, with trends in this industry, with vehicle construction moving to aluminum and composites, um, there are a lot of specifics that need to happen in our shop to be able to train the students and teach the students on how to work with that moving forward because the industry is moving towards these special metals and we need separate spaces to be able to repair those things. And right now we don't have that space. 
No, and I, I always thought two things would happen. Uh, two things could hopefully two things could happen. People in the industry who want to get students from the programs like mm -hmm. Diamond uh, maybe could supply some bucks to um, build that separate building that sure. you may need. It should be a see. I think Diamond should be a campus. I'm be wrong. A campus where there's different buildings, as the, the, the so that you have a, this. This course is taught in a zipper built. Yep. Gives you plenty of room, right? And it takes on some of the things that uh, seem to make the national press, like for example, or high high can steel, aluminum, mm -hmm. and the different metals. I thought that when we get back into coal again, we might be making steel to get off that import and from uh, Ch Japan and China and and believe Canada, yeah, and then the percentages and take and then start the start resurrecting these graves. Graveyards of cars. Yeah, you guys true. should know that better than anybody else. Oh yeah, that's else. true. How much you could take from different years automobile? Yep. They could be processed and reused again. Recycled, absolutely. You know, recycle it. Yep. And that if that if they we if the country took on with students through some major sponsor took on that kind of a business, it would be very lucrative be to huge. not have the trade war in that particular subject. Absolutely. Subject. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I, and I like the, the the idea of the campuses too, because it gives gives people the space they need to do what they need to do. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I don't think with all of the school, with all of the space that you have. Let's say you are fortunate enough to get, and you better be fortunate enough to get it because it, it just it's, you're st you're banging yourself around here. Mm -hmm. If you can get the new school and you can get the sponsorship to go with that, because you're bringing a new school in, so it's not like that. They're rehashing a 50-year-old school. Right. It's really like that they're going to a new school and it can be a campus style as they can. Mm -hmm. And I know it takes a lot of space, of and course. I know it's tough to get everybody to agree with sure. that. You sure. know, uh, but uh, but still, you have an industrial park, you know, fill up. Yep. And there's right. there's all the aspects of safety that need to be considered with the students going from one building to the other, yep. being out in the open and yep. during the school day. But it's all stuff that I'm sure could be figured out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. It's amazing. Anyway, tell us about what you do here. So in our shop, in Auto Collision, we are teaching the students on the basics of all the aspects of auto collision repair. So anything from minor fender bender damage to structural damage to cosmetic damage, um, and as simple as washing and detailing a vehicle. So starting in freshman year, the students learn all the basics of uh, using uh, hand tools, safety with the shop equipment, uh, basic painting, basic paint preparation, basic dent repair. And as they move on into sophomore, junior, and senior year, all of that becomes more advanced. Uh, the upperclassmen, the juniors and seniors, will be involved in more uh, welding on panels. Uh, they'll be working on our frame machine, which is a state-of-the-art uh, frame straightening machine, where we can take a car that has its either frame or its unibody that has damage to it and bring it back to the correct dimensions so that it's safe again and that when we put it back together, everything fits the way that it's supposed yeah. to be again. Um, it's, it's one of the best machines we can get out there. It's, it's fully digital with measuring and everything. Um, in our uh, related classroom, we do all the theory for everything that the students are going to learn here. So the theory and the science, they learn in the classroom. So they're going to learn um, all the specifics about everything that we're doing here in the shop. Uh, they get involved in all the safety, um, all the regulations and rules, exactly what's happening when metal gets bent, well, you know, they, when like there were students here with you, Lewis, uh, or, or the other instructors, mm -hmm. do they have to take tests so they don't have to wait around? In other words, they go for a job application somewhere. They've already been tested at these levels yep. so that they have a real big opening into the level of uh, getting the job. Yeah, there are some uh, organizations that may require that. Um, but a lot of the local organizations that are going to be hiring our students, they don't require that. Mm -hmm. um, but we're, they're going to leave our school, uh, our program, with the OSHA 10 certificate, um, which is uh, it's a full 10-hour intensive safety course. Um, not specific so much to auto collision, but safety in general. So even if they find their way into another trade at some point, they have that behind them as well. Um, and we're working with ICAR and ASC uh, to get students uh, with some sort of certification before they leave here as well. So they have a little more behind them than just their high school diploma. Diamond Regional High School provides a lot of things for the community for nothing. They do. Actually, when you look at it, without getting into to specifics, they actually do these things and uh, reward the community they're in mm -hmm. and the surrounding communities. They certainly do. You do that all the time. So, you know, Diamond itself, uh, uh, to enlarge Diamond's operation is also to help your own budgets. 
helps so the community. These, in these areas that Somerset, Borover, and all the others have to cast a vote for a new school, it really benefits them to have a new, bigger school. It certainly does. Okay. It certainly does. Thanks again, Lewis. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. This side of the shop is where the sophomores are going to do their work. To put that together. Um, right now, we've got a couple cars in process, and we've got some uh, some railings that we're doing here. Um, this vehicle is having some patchwork done. That white vehicle is having the rear bumper repaired. Um, so the sophomores are going to typically work in this area right here. Um, over to the side here, we've got our tool crib that's equipped with the majority of the tools that we're going to need to uh, do the repairs that we're going to do. Um, it's equipped with a lot of tools, a lot of different stuff. Uh, we're looking into upgrading some of the stuff and updating some of the stuff. But it, pretty much all the tools that we need to do the work that we're going to do are going to be found in the tool crib. We've got the juniors and seniors, and we've got our frame straightening machine, which is under this pickup truck here. So this pickup truck has some minor damage to the back. Uh, we're doing some work to that. This vehicle here is for one of the local uh, law enforcement organizations. We're turning it into a black and white cruiser. And that vehicle there is actually one of the students' vehicles, so he's doing some repairs to it for himself. This is where we do all the paint work. The vehicles are put inside, or parts are put inside, and we're able to paint them in a controlled environment. And then once they're painted, we can actually bake them to cure the paint. Um, it makes painting as close as we can to doing it at the factory, um, where it's a controlled environment, where we can control the temperature. Um, there's good lighting in there, so we can see everything we need to do. So right now this student is uh, working on his own vehicle as well. Uh, we're getting this uh, truck ready to be uh, painted. So he's doing some final priming. Uh, they're going to be doing some final sanding on it, and then they're going to get it ready to be painted. And the freshman area, right now we're practicing uh, learning masking skills, learning how to adjust panels, learning buffing. The students have completed some projects where they take a fender, they have to do repairs to it and painting, um, and they get to do some kind of custom designs and graphics on it. Uh, right now we're doing a little bit of detailing and a little bit of a uh, panel adjustment and learning how to do a bunch of different things. Um, but this is our shop. Um, you know, we're working on full-size vehicles here. So, you know, we're not working on small little projects, so we need space to do this stuff. Um, and with technology and industry trends moving the way they're going and, and with vehicle materials going in the way they're going, um, you know, we're going to have to make some adjustments to be able to teach these students the new things that they're going to need to know moving forward in the trade. Thank you very much for no letting problem. us go around and see all the students, sure, sure. and um, you know, appreciate it. And no, you no problem. Guys will go a long way now. It's your, uh, your teaching freshman. You've only been here a few years, but hey, yep. you know, you're a rookie. But I mean, the pros around here will take care of that. Yeah. But they love what they do. They you can do. see the expression on their face mm -hmm. that they love what they do. Absolutely. And they feel like they're important. No. So once again, Lewis, thank no you problem. for allowing no us to come here. No problem. Thank you very much. Job.